In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side front shock on your Dodge Ram located behind your front wheel. Using our 7-8 socket, we're going to head loosen and remove our lug nuts. Now that we have the lug nuts removed, let's go ahead and loosen and remove the wheel and set that aside. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead and loosen and remove the nut on the top of our shock. I'm going to go ahead and grab the washer and the rubber bushing from the top. Go ahead and set that aside. Using a 21 millimeter socket or wrench, you can go ahead and loosen and remove the bolt on the bottom here. Now when that bolt comes out, the shock should drop out. So be ready to catch that. Go ahead and feed the shock up into place, grab your bolt, and we'll get that threaded in to the lower control arm. Now what we want to do is get our bushing and washer prepared here. So the cup is going to be facing up, bushing up, and you're going to have the larger groove here that needs to be facing upward as well. Smaller groove towards the bottom. And pull this back. I'm going to go ahead and compress our shock. Slide the washer and the bushing over. Let it expand up into the mount. Now we're going to go ahead and use our jack underneath our control arm. And we're just going to go ahead and lift this up into position, line up that shock. And once that shock stud is centered in that hole, we're going to install our upper bushing with the large diameter facing down. The metal washer with the open side or the uh, concave side facing down. Install the nut. And we're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket to go ahead and snug that down. Now I'm tightening this here, if the shock tube is spinning, I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter wrench to hold that. Just wanna go ahead and tighten that down nice and tight. That nut will bottom out. And go ahead and remove your wrenches. At this point here, we can go ahead and remove our jack. Torque down your shock bolt to 100 foot-pounds. So you can go ahead and torque down the nut here to 40 foot-pounds, or you can simply snug it down to the point where the bushing expands out just the diameter of the washer itself. Go ahead and set your wheel back on. Let's go ahead and get all of our lug nuts started by hand. Once we have all these on, we're going to go ahead and snug them down. Good and torque down our lug nuts to 135 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. 
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.